Barely uh, working here. <laughs> but uh, the guy called in about Sal going to the booths, yeah. and uh, I actually went with Sal to the booths one night when I like first came out here and started working here, uh -huh. and was he convinced me on a drunken night to go. Was, was it gross? Uh, you know what? It's new. It was a new thing for me because in Vegas they have the booths, but they don't have actual like live girls that you can pick, like a meal. You know, like right. you, you go, they're sitting outside the door, and you go, "I want that one." And can you and Sal go in the same boat? No, not at all. You I would pick never... a girl, and then she stands behind glass. Yeah, you give her money right before she and goes. And you beat off in front of her. Yeah, and but oh, like it goes just... from like zero to sixty. Like the window goes up. She's got a leg up. There's stuff flying in there, and she's like. You want to see this in here? And she's like talking oh. to you like, yeah, and oh my are, god! Are your pants down? Oh yeah, they were down in two. I, <laughs> so, so she's staring at your penis? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm I'm hoping. Wild. She. It's great, Howard. It's great. It's, it's great. Really your wife eating. doesn't consider that cheating. Uh, my wife doesn't know. I, I guess hope it's not. Her. I hope nobody calls. <laughs> it's not cheating because there's a glass that separates you. <laughs> no. You know? My Do you have a favorite girl that you go to the same place well, all the time? At that place, Sal probably has a relationship with one <laughs> yeah. of Hey, Martha. There, there was this real hot Puerto Rican chick, and she was a little chubby because that's how I like them, you know? <laughs> and I go in there. That's how you like women, or that's how you like Puerto like, Ricans? I like uh, Puerto Ricans or anywhere. I like them a little flabby. I don't like them airbrushed like these penthouse <laughs> playmate chicks, a bunch of phonies. Yeah, they're they're, they're called train that. wrecks. Yeah. That's what Sal like. Yeah, so I go in there. Was Sal's girl really ugly? Oh, my God. He picks like the janitor, bringing in the mom. <laughs> Like, I'll uh, take that girl over there. Yeah. No, no, excuse me, sir. That's our janitor. Yeah, he cleans the booth, sir. Her hair looked like it was made out, like it was dyed in mustard. Oh, you know when the, you know when a black girl dyes their hair blonde? Yeah. It was like mustard yellow braids in her face, and I love that. <laughs> and she's got on this real shiny black lipstick. So anyway, she's in there, and uh, she goes, Baby, "What does she do? She just take off all her clothes? Takes off her clothes, but she thinks I'm I'm a tourist or something. Right? She goes, "You want a good time? You got to slip me another forty. So I go, four, I go, I'm a fucking regular here. Get on your knees. She's like, oh, baby, I'm sorry about that. So she gets She's up. bragging. And, yeah, I'm a regular. I'm a regular. How I'm dare regular. you insult you me? me? You can't rip me off. I know the ropes. I'm here every day. <laughs> she gets on her knees, and I say, start licking the glass, because that's the only thing that's separating us. Right. So she goes, you want me to lick the glass? You got to give me $20. So I, I gave her $20. So she's licking the glass, and I'm... Smacking it against the glass right where her mouth is. Oh, Slapping your penis. Geez. Yeah, but it's against the glass, so there's a separation Don't there. Don't you think the glass is so sick? There's other but guys doing the that. The thing was, it was a little dim, and once I finished, I opened the door, there was dried stains around my wet stains. Oh. So I think I was hitting oh. against somebody else's mouth. Oh. <laughs> so, wait, so I get out. And new shoeies next to I mean, you're not the only guy who likes to whack his penis against glass. Yeah, somebody else thought <laughs> No it wonder it looks the way it does. Oh so uh, <laughs> I get out, and Shuley is still going to town. He's right next door to me. <laughs> so I'm drunk off my ass. I start banging on the door. Shuley, come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. And I'm banging, I'm banging, I'm banging. I go, come on, you fucking pussy. Finish already. Let's go. So I'm like, whatever. I go around the corner to the magazine section. There's Shuley reading a magazine. Uh, <laughs> I was done in a minute flat. Yeah. I was banging on the door with somebody else in there. Shuley, did the girl you get, are they, uh, is she decent looking? She was hot, man. She was this hot Spanish chick, and she had like this uh, uh, Brazilian like tank top, like the Brazil soccer team, her tits were hanging, and she was smoking hot. And I just, I went right, I made a beeline for her. I go, you, let's go. All right, so then you go, and then there's a, when they say a booth, like, yeah. is, it, is it like? A, it's literally, it's like a, it's like a you know where you used to take pictures like uh, in those little photo booths. Yeah. It's like that, but there's another side where she stands. The window goes up as soon as she gets her money, and uh, and, and she, she starts stripping. She's she's is stripped. She she's nude. At your level, or is she uh, elevated a little. She's bit? at our, she's at my level, and then she puts her leg up on like the window or the wall, yeah. and takes like a dildo and just goes to town. Oh, geez. And like Did she and talk I, all nasty. Oh my stuff? god! I was done in a minute. I was <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah, really? So where are you from? You know, you never <laughs> want to do that in a peep booth. Start asking the chick where she lives. So you, and you're beaten off, and then when you walk out, like you sit in a lobby and other dudes are there. It's like one of the weirdest feelings in the oh, world because you're like anywhere to clean up you just go out and start fingering the magazine uh, you just you, yeah. you have your head down you make no reading? yeah you make no eye like, contact is it like time magazine or is it dirty <laughs> yeah. magazine it's uh it's field and stream <laughs> no is it dirty magazine yeah there's dirt yeah. but and then they have like dirty videos and then they have like old 80s videos that you can write like teen wolf uh, next to like pornos and, <laughs> and karate videos <laughs> yeah and it was just insane it's man. a video store it's yeah. a video store with right. a peep booth in the back and it was my first experience. how many booths are there 
It's like five, I think. Five. No, nah, there's fifteen boots. Are you oh, kidding me? Sorry. <laughs> you didn't go around the corner. Excuse me, <laughs> Artie. Have you ever done anything that? I. I mean, you're a degenerate. I'm a degenerate. Have you ever done anything? That? I went to the boot when I was seventeen years old. We took the. the I got the bus to Manhattan right at the corner of my uh, my street where I grew up. It was a fifteen minute bus ride, and twice when I was a senior in high school, I was seventeen. We went to these booths. And uh, there was a live chick like doing sex shit. I remember I didn't jerk off or anything. And me and my buddies were you going, standing in there with your buddies, or did uh, you have individual thoughts? No, I was by myself. Because it seems like Sal sometimes the curtains go up and he sees other guys beating on. Right. <laughs> One I, time I, that I, happened. I, yeah. yeah, really? It was to my left. I didn't know it. They're, they're called your buddy, blind spot. They're called buddy booths. Yeah, oh, and I, I noticed a whole bunch of guys just hanging out in the back. They looked like they were just looking at their feet, kicking shit around. I, I mean, He's a fan. But this is when Times Square was littered with the place. <laughs> they're called buddy booths. So, and, and, uh, uh, and why would what, you have that? I guess queers. What they do is they go in and they go side by side and they whack off and look at each other. Then why do they need a girl? They don't. They're video. These are video booths. Uh, so aren't they they're like couples too? And right? I put money in there. Couples. And I, I, I put I put money in there, and I put on the scene, and this girl's going to town on a guy, and I'm taking care of myself. I'm really going to town, and I turn to my left, and there's a guy looking right at me, jacking off, who's jacking oh. off right next to me. I was like, holy shit! Can I ask you something? Do you what do you do? You let your pants drop down to the floor? No, there's a whole ritual. First, I go to Sabaros <laughs> to take a piss. Yeah. Then I get a big wad of toilet paper, roll it around my hand, and I tuck it in my pocket. Okay. Once you get there, you take out a dollar bill to open the door to get in. You don't want to touch anything. <laughs> Close the door. Use the same dollar to lock it. <laughs> Slide that dollar in, take out your tissues, start changing the buttons. It's all sanitized. Right. Then, you know, you pick a video, yeah, you right. go to town, Sound you blow... Clean. Oh, you watch videos? I this thought you were looking at real girls. Well, that was, surely was live girls. That's so fucking creepy. So you go to the video booths as well? Oh, the videos are the best. It's because crazy because variety. you could take any video home and watch it right. and do it in the privacy of your house. I got now, kids I, running around I, at home, man. You know what I think it is? I think that live girls are more expensive than video. Yeah, yeah, he, he, likes, he likes video. Uh oh there's the guys from Stain. I better finish the voting. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, I got to get that together. So then the key is once you're done, you, you finish on the tissue. You roll the tissues up, and you, there's usually a chair there on, in the corner. You just throw the wad of tissues behind the chair, oh. and oh. <laughs> I like how I like how he and thinks. You, when you get out, you just put your feet together, you put your shoulders down, and you look right at the floor, and you and you walk door. out like a little Chinaman, you know. <laughs> you don't look up, you know. A See again, Chinaman. I went. It was 1984. Oh it was 1984, and Times Square was littered with them. And I was 17, and recently I asked a buddy of mine, "Did you ever go back?" He went, "No, I've never gone back." I would just feel creepy like even like walking in and being part of that and then like you have to walk out and then you're waiting for Sal and you're sitting there reading a magazine it was weird you know what's the funny thing is uh, Florentine on his last DVD Meet the Creeps too. they do this bit where they go outside these peep booths and mm -hmm. him and uh, and Don Jameson are standing out there with like uh, uh, like hand sanitizer and napkins, and as soon as guys come in or out, they're like, "Hey, buddy, you need to clean up uh, here. You want a you want a squeegee? Take the squeegee nice. in the booth with you. You know." I must be thrilled. Through. Yeah, Richard, what's up? What? what do you want to say? Oh, you're on three. Okay, go ahead. I had a friend in Missouri who went to one of the video booths in Kansas City, and he was he sits down to watch a movie. He puts his quarters in, and he sees something moving out of the cor the corner of his eye. Yeah. And right head level, right next to his ear, was a big cock. You know, oh, it, it came through a hole. Oh, so he no. he jumped back. It scared the crap out of him, and he reared back and kicked it with his boot, oh. and it broke. And oh. the guy started screaming, and the guy pulled a knife. It was a gay guy in the booth oh, next to him, wow. and so he jumps over the top and gets in a fight with the gay guy and ends up going to jail for like a week <laughs> after he kicked the guy's penis. Oh. I say I went to one, I went to this place. This is what you the guys in high school do. Junior high school. We went when we were like fifteen or sixteen, and we would go. I put the money in and watch the movies, not the live shows. But uh, you learn weird things about your friends because I was in a booth and my friend was next to me in a booth. And all of a sudden, I heard a horse whinnying uh -huh. from his booth. Oh. Yeah. I guess he was watching a movie where a girl like, jerks off a horse. Oh. And it's over, it's over, she's in a bucket and then she pours the bucket all over herself and it goes down her. Oh, oh. God. That's too much. All right, let's, let, let me continue this vote. Yeah.